As New Jersey businesses reopen, some workers may have reservations about returning. State guidelines say workers do not have to go back to work if they have serious underlying health conditions or they believe their workplaces are unsafe. In some cases, a lack of child care is also an acceptable reason. A landmark ruling today from the Supreme Court for worker rights. The court ruled by a 6-3 to three vote that a worker cannot be fired for being gay or transgender. There are state laws preventing discrimination, but there had been no federal law in place. Finally, it looks like the Portal Bridge project is now going to be moving forward. President Trump has given authorization for the project to advance, and Governor Murphy says that means it's go time. The commitment from the president that the $800 million federal share can move forward without delay means we can get more shovels in the ground. The portal bridge replacement means roughly 15,000 jobs, overwhelmingly high-paying, good-paying union jobs. Elsewhere, some encouraging numbers on sports betting in the state, even with very few sporting events to bet on. The Division of Gaming Enforcement says in May, Gamblers wagered $118 million on sporting events. That's more than twice the amount bet in April. Dustin Gauker is an analyst with PlayNJ, which tracks online betting. People are still engaging with the product, and, and once we have sports return, you know, NBA, NHL, uh, things like that returning in the next few months here, that uh, it should be a pretty robust uptick. New Jersey is facing a $10 billion revenue shortfall, according to the Murphy administration. And Chase Spotlight's John Reitmeyer tells us, depending on the projections used, the number might actually be different than that. Still, the math is not pretty. These are big numbers, no matter how you slice them up. And uh, what is the mix of solutions? The, the governor's office has already proposed some, some uh, decent sized cuts Governors also proposed borrowing billions. Turning now to Wall Street, here's a look at the numbers. I'm Rhonda Schapfler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report is provided by Insider NJ, a political intelligence network dedicated to New Jersey political news. Insider NJ is committed to giving serious political players an interactive forum for ideas, discussion, and insight online at InsiderNJ.com.